Hello friends, today we will learn about data types in Java programming language. Java is strongly typed language and you have to define the variable type if you are declaring a variable. For example, if you are declaring an integer variable, you have to define its type first, which is not the case with some other programming languages like PHP, you don't have to define its type when declaring a variable. Variable, what are variables? Reserved computer memory to store data. Computer allocates memory for a variable according to its data type. So, variables are name of memory locations and their size depend on their data type. We have two data types. Primitive data types which are default data type provided by Java programming language and non-primitive data types and these are data types defined by programmers. Let's look first at primitive data type. These are predefined by language and named by a keyword. A keyword is a special name which we cannot use for name of classes or variables or objects etc. Value is directly stored in the allocated memory location. So, for primitive data type, value is directly stored in that allocated memory location. Basic primitive data types are integral, boolean, character and floating. Let's look at these primitive data types. So first is byte, its default value is 0, its default memory allocated size is 1 byte and it is integral value. Second is short. Its default value is also 0 and memory location size here has been changed from 1 byte to 2 bytes. Next is int primitive data type and its default value is also 0. Here we are observing that memory allocated memory size is changing. So if we have short variables we can use short data type or if we need 1 byte value we can use byte data type. These all stores integers. Next is long and it's also an integral value but memory size allocated for each long variable is 8 bytes. Now we come to second basic data type floating point and uh, its default value is 0.0. .0. So if we want to store integers we will use integral values but if we want to use floating point or decimal points that have a value and a decimal point then we will use floating points memory allocated for a floating variable will be 4 bytes and if we have a big value then we can use double data type which will store 8 bytes next data type is char and its default value is this this is a unicode value and in ascii it means 0 and uh, memory allocation size will be 2 bytes and its type is character. And the last data type is boolean data type. Its default value is false. It has 1 bit and this bit will be either true or false. So by default value is false but we can also store true in it. Now let's look at non-primitive data type in Java. These data types are created by programmers like classes and arrays we will learn about these things in our future lectures default value is null for all the non primitive data types value is directly stored in primitive data types but in non primitive data types a reference of another memory location is stored which actually stores the value so in allocated memory there is a reference of another memory location and at that another memory location actual value is being stored when passing in parameter to methods reference to memory location is passed instead of value so if we are passing a non primitive data types then a reference will be passed of that memory location but if we are passing a primitive data types then actual value will be passed to that map. So that's it for today's lecture. In next lecture, we will learn more about Java programming language. Thank you very much.